Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am in sweats. I know, very odd, but I am in sweats because my furnace is down and I'm doing my intro late at night. Why I didn't have time to do it early in the day, I do apologize. But in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Not to be confused with their original veil primer, it is supposed to be two different primers, supposedly. But anyways, so I'm going to be reviewing that today. But before we get started with the video, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you know if I when I do upload a new video and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you love hourglasses just just hourglass in general or if you tried out this product right here and you actually like it and don't forget to follow me on my social media handle right there which is just my instagram and let's get started with the video all right so as you guys know i am trying on the new hourglass vanish airbrush primer Again, this is not to be confused with like their original veil primer. This is supposed to be something different. So just heading to the Sephora uh, app right here. As you can see, there are two different primers. Their Veil Mineral Primer and their Vanish Airbrush Primer. So the Vanish uh, Airbrush Primer retails for $71 and the other one is also $71. So depending on which size you get, either the standard or the value size, it's either $71 or $99. So with the Vanish Airbrush Primer, again, it's $71 for one fluid ounce. This is best for dry combo normal skin and is great for pores and it's a natural finish. So this is supposed to be a translucent skin perfecting primer that smooths absorbs shine and adds a visibly blurred airbrush finish while extending makeup wear now i don't know if there's really much difference between this and the original one so we're just going to take a quick peek and this is supposed to be oil free spf natural finish good for pores as well and it's vegan so it's slight differences than the vanish one this is a state-of-the-art primer that extends your wear or foundation for a perfect complexion to elevate your foundation to unprecedented performance. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to be different than the Vanish one. So this is good for normal dry combination and oily skin types, while the other one was only good for like dry to normal. So some highlight ingredients in the original one is, some, is the titanium dioxide, which protects the skin from harmful UVA and UVB rays, zinc oxide, which prevents physical protection from damaging UVA rays, so this is very good if you want like some sort of SPF to protect your skin. Well, the Vanish one is great for blurring out and extending a makeup wear. And again, this is best for dry combo to normal skin types. So not really great for oiliness. So as you guys can see, I have my makeup on already. So we're going to go to the next clip where you guys see me do the application and see how it interacts with the foundation. So let's go. All right, so here's what the packaging looks like. It is Hourglass's signature, you know, brown packaging. All right, so here's what it looks like. I like the top that they went with a different approach. I think the reason why they did a different top is just to differentiate between the two, even though the component is basically the exact same thing. So it's gonna confuse a lot of people. They're both white. They both have the same component. The only difference is the gold top. I think this is why everyone was confused if this was just a revamp or repackaging, what the case may be, but turns out it's a new primer. All right, so as you guys can see, I did my face right here. I don't know if you need to shake it or not. Not really, it just says uh, to smooth onto moisturized skin with fingertips. I was gonna use a brush, but if it's saying fingertips, then maybe, and allow with your desired foundation. Okay, if it's telling me fingertips, we're gonna go with fingertips, because I normally use a brush uh, to apply it, but um, you know, it's Hourglass is telling me to use my hands, I'm using my hands. I'm gonna use one pump and see so it's a very thick consistency like this is not budging <laughs> i prefer using a brush because it allows to apply very evenly sometimes when i apply the, with my fingers um i doubt myself if like if this is even or not but with a brush i you know i don't need to really second guess anything it's just like apply 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 Good to go. So initial thought is this very like velvety smooth. Like it feels nice. There is a slight fragrance to it, but it's very, very faint. Like you won't even notice it. So again, this is supposed to smooth, uh, absorb shine, giving a airbrushed look while extending the makeup wear. So I'm taking a closer look, see how my pores are. It does look pretty blurred out. It doesn't look like it dried out my skin, which is very nice. My pores, I can't really say if it's really blurring right now. Maybe it will be different when I apply the foundation. Uh, so we shall see. I'm just gonna wet my sponge and I will be right back. 
And we are back. I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little closer so we can have a better look of what is going on. All right, so as you guys can see, you guys are really, really close. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation, the Makeup Forever Reboot. And this is in the shade Y244. And this time I'm using my NYX foundation brush as the number three. This is what it looks like. I usually use my Anissa beauty brush, but uh, I haven't cleaned that yet. So we're going with alternative number two. So the foundation is not fighting with the primer, which is great. Also, I hear so many good things about the primer. Like, I don't know what it is. Apparently the Vanish is way, way better than the Veil. Don't know why that is, but we're gonna obviously do a wear test. Taking a closer look, you can see that glow. Nothing is fighting with the primer so far. So A, I apply it a even amount, and B, these two work together, which is great. Also, it's been so long since I tried like a hourglass anything that really kind of like caught my eye. Um, I didn't really like their foundations, like the liquid one and the uh, stick foundation. I don't know what it is, but it it just didn't work out for me. The stick foundation, it made me look cakey and parts where I don't usually get oily, got really, really oily and parts where I was oily, it just it added more oil and then things were just all over the place, they were breaking. It, it was it was a time. It, it was definitely a time. After applying the foundation, again, nothing is fighting, which is great. My pores, they actually look quite blurred. I wouldn't say filled in, but they definitely look blurred out. How this will be like throughout the day, we shall see. But initially, I like this so far. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's giving a airbrush look. We'll see if it's uh, absorbing the shine and like controlling it throughout the day. But it's definitely giving me like a blurred look. I kind of like it so far. For $71, it better work. So right now, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face, do my hair, all that nitty gritty good stuff. And I'll take you guys with me throughout the day. So I'll see you all in a little bit. All right, you guys, so this is a five hour check-in right now. It's currently 1 p.m. So taking a closer look on what is going on, the foundation isn't settling into my smile lines. You can definitely see a glow going on. Um, pores still look good. Forehead still looking pretty mighty good as well. Sorry if I covered. No complaints really so far. Everything looks pretty darn flawless it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel tight it still feels pretty uh, lightweight moisturizing so no funny business there yeah so not much to really like report upon so i'll probably check in with you guys the next maybe five six hours or so at the end of the day and i gotta surprise gia my best friend with some flowers in the back right there she's turning 30 in a few days <sighs> It's a big day. It's a milestone. Gotta get her flowers. So, gotta do that. So, I'll check in with you guys when I see her, probably, or maybe just before that. Haven't really decided yet. But, anyways, basically, nothing's really going on in the past like five hours. So, we'll see in the next little bit. All right, you guys. So, clearly, I am home right now and I have some thoughts. So, right now, I am in my comfies. It is now 9 o'clock at night, so I just want to address a few things. First of all, um, my furnace is down and the house is freezing. So in the next couple few videos, you may see me wear a sweater um, because it's it's so cold in here right now. It, it's just unbelievably cold right now. And it doesn't help that it's minus 18 outside and it like feels like minus 25 or something. So we bought like these space heaters and hopefully that kind of helps a little bit. But as of right now, I am freezing my butt off. Anyways, so from the last check-in, um, how long ago is it? I think it's been about like seven, eight hours now. So it's been quite some time since I did a, a check-in last. So taking a closer look, um, I have a love-hate relationship with this primer. The pros is that my makeup did last quite a long time. It, like it looks pretty good on camera, like to some extent. And it's been basically a 12 13 hour day my makeup lasted quite a long time so points for that it's still looking quite good uh, for a full 12 hour day um i still have like this nice like sheen glow to me and it still feels lightweight it didn't 
feel like it's heavy on me or anything, which is great. But I do have to say this though. Around here, I don't know, there's like certain parts of my face where like for some reason it just it's all flaky and dry and my skin is never dry and I like moisturize the heck out of my face too like I put on my serums my moisturizers like all the whole works and I never get like these like weird like dry flakes around my jawline like when I use the Giorgio Armani like primer this never happens so I don't know what the deal is like my jawline it's a little like flaky and dry i don't know if the camera can pick it up like well enough because it's like quite small but it is quite dry around here i don't know why so around the forehead it still looks pretty good around the cheek area looking quite nice it's the poor area that I'm kind of like in a love-hate relationship with nothing has settled or collected in my smile line which is awesome and yes it gives me like this nice like glow this nice sheen and I could just like pat away just like that but I feel like just around the sides of my nose here it looks a little like bunched up a little bit starting to look a little cakey there um, the rest of my nose looks just fine. I don't know what the heck happened here. Like uh, it's just super super dry But then this side is fine. So I don't know Maybe it's just like a part of my face just decide to like act all weird Who knows but the rest of my face still looks pretty good for a like 12 13 hour day I don't love it But I don't hate it. I'm like really on the fence of whether it's like kind of worth your money, kind of not. But to each their own. Some people may love it, some people may hate it. I'm really on the fence right now. Because yes, this is very lightweight. It made my makeup last a long, long time, like all day. But if I have to deal with like these dry flakes and then like a little breaking right here, like I don't know. So um, I can't really say yes or no. I'm really on the fence. So take this review with a grain of salt. Um, I think it's to each their own. I'm also, again, combination skin. So probably certain parts are are work best than others so probably if you're dry this may not work out for you because it's doing this business oily probably not too too oily because it may just like end up breaking up so i probably feel like it's best for like maybe normal skin um maybe i can't really speak for half on normal skin types because i don't have but just based on how it performed throughout the day it kind of seems that way so yeah, that this is why I'm kind of like on the fence. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. Maybe if I just wear this for five hours, five, six hours, then it'll be just fine. So anyways, you guys, uh, that is it for today's video. I have to get ready for bed right now because I am going for dim sum. It's about time I went for dim sum. It's been a while since we went out anywhere. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to probably take a shower before going to bed actually so I can warm up a little bit because I'm freezing. So anyways, you guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.